Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to another tidbits on Angular automation with Protractor TypeScript and Cucumber course. And in this video, I'll be talking about Cucumber extensions, an extension for Visual Studio code, which helps to work with Gherkin in much efficient manner. Working with Gherkin in Visual Studio code. So far, we have been going through various troubles while working with Visual Studio Code to navigate to step definitions, matching duplicate step definitions, implementations, etc., which are pretty normal and easy with other languages and IDEs like Specflow with C Sharp or Cucumber in Java with Visual Studio and IntelliJ IDE, respectively. So that was very, very easy in those languages. And as you can see here in the screenshot below, this is how our scenario looks like. But actually, it's like a plain text and there is no way that we could navigate to that particular step definition from this particular features step. But not anymore after Visual Studio Cucumber autocomplete extension of Visual Studio Code. So this is really, really cool. As you can see, there are totally 41,931 downloads. I guess this is the, and this is the one which I'm recording today, the video. Maybe it will be going to blow out even more because it's really really a helpful tool. So the Cucumber Gherkin plugin has following features. It has a syntax highlight, it has basic snippet support, it has auto parsing of feature steps from paths provided in the settings JSON file and that's something which we have in Visual Studio Code and there is an auto completion of steps and there is an on typing validation for all the steps, definition support for all the steps parts, document format support including the table formatting as you can see on the right hand side in the GIF file it's automatically completing and you can also do the go to definition which was not the case before and supporting many spoken languages and Gherkin page object native support so these are some of the really really cool features which were missing so far with Visual Studio Code and TypeScript with Protractor so we are going to see everything in action and understand how things work to enable this feature. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio Code. Alright, so this is the same project which we have been working so long in our course. And you can see that I have upgraded my Visual Studio Code this time a little bit. And you can see that if you just right click and you can see there is no such option called go to definitions. And you know the pain currently we are going through with this particular Visual Studio Code and it is not going to be the case anymore. So these things are going to change completely. So what you can do is this. We need to install the plugin or the extensions which is available in Visual Studio Code. So directly go over here to the extensions option and search for something called as Cucumber and you can see there are different kinds of extensions available and the one which we are going to talk about is this one. The Cucumber full support options. So you can see that it has all the features which we were talking about in the slide. So we are going to install that. So let's quickly install this and see how it works. So once the installation is going to be done, it is required that you need to reload the Visual Studio Code. There we go. Visual Studio Code has been reloaded. So I'm going to go all the way to my uh, features. And you can see that we have a scrolly line there. That's really cool, which means there is an autocomplete option coming up. So now if I right click, you can see now we have a go to definition option, which was not there before. There is a peak definition option, which was not there before. Format document is new as well. So if I do a format document, you can see that it is automatically aligning so that you can also do that. And I uh, verify if things are correct, something like that. And let's see what is there in the scrolly line. It says that this uh, particular step has not been implemented. So if you go to definition, there is no such thing. Go to definition, no such thing. But astonishingly, we have this particular step definition implemented already, but somehow this particular plugin couldn't able to identify that. And the reason that it couldn't able to identify is because it has to be informed in the settings.json file that, hey, this particular step definition that I have written in this particular folder has to be mapped to this particular feature file somehow. It's pretty much exactly how the IntelliJ IDE in Java with Cucumber works. So you use something called as glue. That's exactly it is even in the Visual Studio Code for TypeScript language as well. 
So we are going to do that. So basically, as you can see in the particular plugin page or the extension page, they have mentioned that we need to use some of the settings as mentioned here. So these are all the parameters available to be used within the settings file. So uh, these are the minimal settings file that you can use. So I'm going to copy them and I'm going to just paste it over here in the settings.json file. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to save it. All right. Uh, we're, getting, we're getting an error here. So maybe I can just remove that. And now you can see that this particular cucumber autocomplete.steps is actually referring the steps within our project. And it is not there under the um, features folder, which is, which is under the steps folder, as you can see in our uh, project. So I'm just going to use the steps. And we are using TypeScript. So it's .ts and it is test slash steps, right? And this particular node module, of course, we don't require them. I don't know what is that. And now I have saved it. And if I go to the home feature right now, if I just go to definition, you can see that we could able to do a go to definition. First time ever that we are navigating to a step definition from a feature step. Really, really cool. And that's what is the power of this particular extension, right? So it's actually working right now. So you can form your document and let's see what is the speak definition. So if you want to see the step definition for this particular uh, step, let's do a peak definition. There we go. You can see what is the implementation for this particular step. This is another great milestone. I would say like how you can use like C sharp language bindings in the spec flow. That's exactly you can do even with the TypeScript right now. Really cool. And I can also do one more thing. So what is this error right now? It says was unable to find this step for the given I navigate to the application. Of course, it can be resolved if you try to reload this particular Visual Studio code. I'm just going to exit this. And I'm going to again open the Visual Studio code. There we go. Seems like the issue has been resolved. The scroll line is gone, which is fine. There we go. We could be able to do that. And there is one more thing which is very, very interesting. It's something called as uh, suggestions. So if you go to the uh, extensions page again, you can see there is a full parameters available stuff. And it says that there is something called as a cucumber smart snippet. And there is a custom parameters. And there is a cucumber autocomplete.pages. I'm going to leave this for now. And there is a quick suggestion options. So I'm going to copy these guys and I'm going to come to the settings and I'm going to paste these things as well. And let's go here and this one quick suggestions. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste them as well. And now if I go to the feature, you can see that if I start typing something like this and I, you can see there is something happening there. Do you see these are the some suggestions which I get? And these are some of the valid reasons that we can get here. So if I just do a control space, so if I put something like and I create a scenario or something like that, you can see it automatically brings that. And let's say it is much easier if you just try to create a scenario outline you can see it's automatically creating the scenario outline for us and we can give some name uh, create a new course and then it we can just type like and I start creating new course uh, with following details so you can see that I could able to do this like a uh, normal way, but it is really, really cool because there is a formatting options and there's an highlighting options, which is available, uh, which is not there before. So if I just right click format the document, you can see it is easily aligned. 
which was not the case before and we were doing them manually. So these are some of the great things that I could say that we can use in our existing project using this particular plugin. And there are so many other possibilities available so just go ahead and try it out because there are other options that you can see here. You can do different things using uh, the Cucumber Autocomplete. So just go ahead and try them. So these are some of the uh, important things that I would say that this particular plugin has brought things for us and making our life and making our life much easier. So just go ahead and try. And we are going to use this particular plugin for rest of our course. Thank you.